Richard Bingham was born in Dorset, England, in 1528. His exact date and place of birth is unknown. Richard's father was Richard Bingham, and his mother was Alice. Of three sons, Richard was the eldest. Nothing is really known of his early life. He married Sarah Hyam in January of 1588, in Suffolk. Richard and Sarah may have had children, it is not known for sure though, what is known is that there was no male heir. Richard's nephew, Sir Henry Bingham, first baronet, inherited his estate. There are no records of Richard's education. Richard would have been educated as befitted his father's station, and a certain level of education would have been required to enable Richard to follow the career path he had chosen. His first career move was to join the military, before his 20th birthday. Richard's first campaign was in the service of Edward Seymour, the first Duke of Somerset, and Lord Protector during King Edward VI's minority. This was the Scottish expedition of 1547. He went on to fight against the French, for the Spanish, at the Battle of St. Quentin, and in 1558, was part of a naval expedition to the Western Isles of Scotland. It would be in 1578, that Elizabeth I, in recognition of his services, militarily and diplomatic, that he would be granted an annuity of 50 marks. Richard's toughest assignment would be in Ireland. The Irish province of Connacht would be his biggest challenge. With his brothers, George, and John, there as assistant commissioners, on July 12, 1584, Richard was knighted by Lord Deputy Perrault. But Perrault would become a Trosping and would have to bear for many years, they did not always see eye to eye, on certain matters. Through the years, Bingham would be called to answer charges in relation to his decisions when it came to the various rebellions that took place in Connacht. It was often said his handling of the Irish affairs was overly harsh. Yet it was also always deemed that his decisions were always within the letter of the law. In 1592, Perrault would be convicted of treason, and died in the Tower of London. Richard Bingham would flee, without leave, to England, fearing his life was in danger. Imprisoned in Fleet, he petitioned Burley to be released, and this was granted due to his ill health. He would, however, be suspended from duty. Bingham was ordered back to Ireland to stand trial, but during the journey he was forced to stop in Chester, as a result of ill health again. The Tyrone Rebellion of 1598 was way out of hand and it was acknowledged that there was no greater authority on Irish matters than Bingham, he was appointed Marshal of Ireland, and General of Leinster. Having arrived in Dublin, Bingham's health issues worsened, and he died on January 19, 1599. A cenotaph, in his name, was erected in Westminster Abbey.